Cyberpunk 2077. We've waited a long time for this game, and the wait was worth it. I put about nine hours into the game so far, and I'm really liking what I'm seeing. I'm getting definitely a GTA vibe from the game. You can't grab a car off the street, you can't pull someone out of their car, but otherwise it's a lot like a cyberpunk style GTA game. I definitely get that vibe and there's nothing wrong with that. The level of detail that CD Projekt Red has put into Night City is astonishing. You know, my system is not the highest end machine. It's a Ryzen 5 3600 with 16 gigs of RAM and a Radeon 5700 XT, but I'm getting decent frame rates. I'm not getting any of the performance issues that anyone is saying that they're getting, and I'm on high settings. I'm not on ultra settings. I'm running on high settings at, at 1366 by 768. That's mostly because of my monitor. I'm going to be upgrading to a 1080p display for um, in the future. Be saving up for that. I'm going to be replacing this Samsung TV and putting a regular monitor here, a 32-inch uh, monitor. Found um, one that's decently priced. Also has uh, HDR and uh, FreeSync, so that will definitely be really good for doing streaming and recording and for me playing the game properly with a proper monitor at a higher than 60 frame per second frame rate which would be a lot better for MMOs but I'm getting off track Cyberpunk 2077 the level of detail is pretty amazing I took some time to walk around Night City instead of calling my car and I came to a crosswalk and I was waiting for it to change and there was a little girl standing there and she was in this pink outfit, this really skimpy pink outfit and she had on these tight uh, short shorts and all I did was just glance down to just look at her give, her, give her a look and the NPC noticed and said, what are you looking at creep? It's that level of detail that CD Projekt Red's put into the game, is that, you know, what you do, the NPCs will respond to you. Or, if you take too much time to respond to, you know, some, what someone has said in a conversation, they will say, well, hello V, or, or something like that. Even though there are some, um, like, in The Witcher 3, there were some dialogue choices that had a countdown timer on it, where you had to respond within a certain time. Here, if you don't respond to what they say, they will react if you don't say anything fast enough, so you gotta read pretty fast, and for someone like me with low vision, you know, that sets a little bit of a problem sometimes, but the dialogue choices, what you get to, what you get to say, um, the interaction with the characters, you, it's more than just, you know, just talking about what's going on in the game. You actually get to have some normal conversations with some of the NPCs, especially Jackie. You get to talk with him a little bit. You get to banter with him a little bit. And you get to know him and you get to care about the characters in the game, especially Jackie. You, get, you, you become your friend. Uh, I, I hope that's not foreshadowing, because I did see that trailer where he gets offed. Hopefully that doesn't happen in the game. That might be an option if things don't go right with this next mission. I have gotten to the point to where I get the biochip, but I haven't started that yet. But I've been doing all sorts of other things. I've been exploring around. Right now I'm still stuck in, in the same area because it's on police lockdown. You can't leave the area. That's sort of a, that's almost like a thing that they do with uh, GTA. GTA locks you in a certain area for a little while and then after you do a certain mission it then opens up the whole rest of the map to you. It's a lot like that. But uh, it doesn't mean that it's bad. 
doesn't mean that that's bad. I mean, if 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 there's a game that's going to mimic some of the better aspects of, of the GTA series, you know, why not? GTA sort of set the bar for that kind of open world, and CD Projekt Red took some of those ideas and they ran with it with their own game, their own ideas, and and immerse themselves into Pond Smith's cyberpunk world and the atmosphere is definitely on par. I played cyberpunk in college. Um, not a lot, not as much as I played Shadowrun which is very similar to cyberpunk. Which is, it's basically a cyberpunk fantasy uh, sort of game where it, it has magic alongside advanced technology. but cyberpunk i played some of cyberpunk in college and this is definitely I, I i definitely remember a lot of things from it so some of my past knowledge of the game has helped here in a little bit there are some hitches some problems um uh, tigra had a little bit of problem with uh, the part where he has to put in the cyberware at the very early part of the game had some problems with that and I could see where some people could get tripped up there. There are some parts, you know, early on where CDPR maybe should have put in maybe some more tutorials on how to do certain things. Um, they sort of, after just teaching you how combat and everything works, they sort of just let you go. And then you have to learn everything on a lot of things on your own. You know, there are a few pop-ups that pop up from time to time that, that tell you something or tell you what you need to do or or what something is from time to time. But there aren't really any other tutorials about how things work, how the how the how the Ripper dock interfaces work, or or how to um, trade with shops and things like that some people might get a little tripped up with that if they're not familiar with you know how cdpr does their does their uis which it's it's very much inspired by the witcher 3's inventory screen and, and the screens that used for the merchants it's very much like that i played tons of Witcher 3 so I am very familiar with the design very familiar with how it acts and this acts almost exactly like the interface from the Witcher 3 even in somewhat formatted in a similar way to the way the Witcher 3 worked so I was familiar with that but uh, and the, the car driving car driving is actually pretty good uh, it is just like GTA, although though the cars are, are a little slower. I know that the map is smaller, but I haven't noticed. It, it seems huge. Just driving around town, just uh, walking around town, it just feels big. It may not be as big as um, The Witcher 3's main map was um, when you go to... Um, after you leave the beginning area but it's still pretty large even the Witcher 3 the beginning area was massive uh, when you started out but uh, my first impressions for the first nine hours doing a few side missions a few side quests I even ran into a gang and they, and they attacked me just I was just strolling along and they suddenly just attacked me out of nowhere and I took them out and I collected all their guns and so I've got like a stash of stuff um, also CD Projekt Red does have a launcher uh, for the game now there were some controversy with uh, City Skylines and their launcher because it was not optional and it forced you to sign in and all sorts of stuff like that I like that that this was just optional, but it. But if you decide to sign in, it gives you a bunch of freebies. So I got some free stuff. I got like a really nice sword and some some clothing and stuff from that. They give you some freebies, and all you do is you sign in with your good old games account. That's all you do, because CD Projekt Red owns good old games. Other than that, 
No problems. No issues. I haven't run into any bugs so far. Any of the bugs that were reported in some of the reviews. Well, actually, I did. At one point, I did sit down in B's apartment and I watched some television. And some of the programs didn't have audio. And some of them did. Or one had... Uh, one video was playing, but a different audio for it was was running. It was doing the wrong audio. Other than that, I really, really liked um, Cyberpunk 2077. I really like it so far. Some pe it may not be everyone's cup of tea. I mean, GTA is not everyone's cup of tea, and this is very GTA-like with RPG elements. And it's that kind of game. Uh, there's a ton of content. I know that the main scenario is kind of short at 40 hours. But there is a ton of side content. Well over 100 hours worth of side content. And I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush. I want to do this. I want to have fun with this. So, uh, I may do a uh, more in-depth review later, once I am done. And, I'll see you all in Night City. I've been Mike DeZorch. Thanks for watching.